This is Robert Korsh with the YouTube channel Truth. And I wanted to uh, take us out here today and show you uh, Cherry Grove, South Carolina as the, uh, as the sun approaches. There we go. Truth matters, right? Does the, uh, does the truth matter to you? And one of the reasons why I, I talk about this so much is that I believe the truth does matter. And then the, the question a lot of people will have is, well, what do you, what do you believe the truth is? So one of the reasons why I, I believe it matters is, uh, for example, if, um, if somebody were to say, you know, there's, uh, there's poison in your diet, would you want to know where it was? <laughs> I know I would. Um, I used to have a lot, of, a lot of poison in my diet a lot of toxic input. Toothpaste is one of them. <laughs> that may seem like a minor thing. Putting a top toxic substance in the mouth is toxic to the brain. Fluoride is a neurotoxin. It's got a warning label. Contact poison control if, uh, if you swallow any while it's going in through your, the membrane of your mouth, just so you know. If you put it in your mouth, I don't do that anymore. I haven't for quite some time. So the reason that the truth matters is because uh, deception is, is toxic. Toxic to the decision making. The water is seeking its level. You can look at where it is right here, right now. Higher is drier and lighter colored, and lower is wetter. Very basic, very simple. It's what water does. It seeks level. Water seeks its level. Seeks level. That's one of the reasons why I hashtag it so much is it's a, it's a powerful evidence of the reality of the world that we live in. So as we are walking out this direction, uh, when I turn around and come back on out, uh, we'll see this water much, much higher. High tide will be around 9-11, interestingly enough. I believe they had it marked 908. What's interesting about that is the fact that uh, it appears intentionally that they're trying to avoid the 911 number in some places. Good morning. This um, microphone system I'm using right now is, uh, is a Sennheiser and uh, it, I'll, I'll flip it around and show you. Let's see. Let's see, I want to make sure I'm showing you the right, uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> okay, what I, what I have is um, a feature on these that call transparent hearing. I can actually hear really good all around me. And it is, uh, 
producing a, a stereo sound, actually a 3D or a surround sound. What's going on with that? The sun is approaching right over there. In the summer, it'll be coming up over there. Do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, and of course, gyrating? None of the movement of the Earth has ever been proven um, because it's not moving. Feels a little awkward to be tipped a little bit, doesn't it? Let's just uh, turn this a bit and I'll just drop it right on down like that for a moment. I wanted the uh, sound to be a bit more immersive. I encourage people to get out and enjoy this kind of uh, quality environment. The truth matters. The truth about the world that we live in. What we're being told by the official experts as uh, promoted by their banker buddies through all the uh, controlled mainstream corporate media we're given a false reality and uh, they're leveraging high-powered technology to deliver that. Isn't that special? How about that? Artificial intelligence is uh, smarter than a person, I dare say. I would say it is. And it, um, it's powerful enough to deceive humanity. Now, as best I understand, Satan is an opportunist. He'll use who and what he can, and, and God, who created this world, will use it all, including Satan. So, what I'm showing you is reality, and I'm going to be commenting on it. May may appear to be pretty obvious. Um, many of my friends are, are aware that we're not on a globe. You see, I, I, I want to put this where I can look at you, or you can see my face. I, I know we're not on a globe. It's not that I believe it, and it's not my opinion. I know we didn't go to the moon. Nobody has, so it's a lie. The, the sun and the moon move and stars move a course above the face of the stationary Earth. The reason why that matters is, well, the truth matters. The, uh, I've got a YouTube playlist called YouTube Truth. Right now we can see the water uh, reflecting the light of the sun. The uh, sunrise today was at 6.33 a.m., I believe it was. So as I was driving on in, I have the Tides Near Me app. And I needed to update that several times just to kind of track where I was in relationship to uh, the sun appearing. It matters because I, I wanted to show it to you. It'll be a beautiful tapestry of, uh, of light in a symphony of creation. So I'm going to see what I can zoom in on here. We've got the uh, birds that are right in the middle of a um, uh, an area that's filling up with water. You should be able to see that. It's coming in. And the uh, YouTube Truth playlist uh, is an audio Bible many times uh, merged with uh, just the beauty of, of the title activity showing that. And you can see the circulation of the tide uh, the people out here circulating. 
it's a it's a beautiful place actually right now I'm using the recording app on the YouTube uh, program I want to see what kind of quality I get and when I flip it around oh it didn't zoom back out I've got to do it manually like this see the uh, the light moving across the water is kind of like a, a laser level. It, uh, it's a powerful example of that. Part of this too, I'm experimenting with how to position the camera, the tripod, and all of that. Now, there's a bit of a crown here. Maybe you can see that. It's a, it's a radius. Okay, it gets uh, higher. Like I mentioned earlier, the lighter colored sand is obviously drier. And we can see where the high tide level is, or where it was. Now, on one of my videos I was watching yesterday, it's uh it's beautiful and and it shows how the uh the shape of the beach is filled in by the water as a wave comes in and completes the the reflection right now in the middle of the view or so right there we can see the breaks in the reflection based on the interruption of the waves I've got a, a gentle breeze of about three miles an hour, one to three, uh, coming out of the northeast right now. It's interesting to see how the birds are out here on the, the higher spots of the sand. I'll, uh, I'll take us up there further. I have some, I've been privileged to capture some amazing sunrises and sunsets showing the uh, sun in the midst of the clouds, just as the Bible says. So I believe ultimately that the Word of God is true and all others are suspect, should be compared to Scripture. So some would say, well, the the Bible is not a science book. It accurately explains the world that we live in far better than we're getting on the corporate media. There's a corruption of humanity taking place using uh, high power digital technology, artificial intelligence, and uh, corrupting the corrupting humanity causing people to make uh, choices or tempting them to make choices that are contradictory to the way God designed this world to be and the way for us to be in it. It's not that God was taken off guard, or caught, by, caught off guard by this. He created Satan for the purpose of that he exists. He's the deceiver. So out in the view here, we have uh, the little sandpipers, a whole bunch of them. Wow, kind of interesting. And then the uh, bigger birds out here, the pelicans. So with the um, with the P1000, I've zoomed in on a lot of uh, the wildlife and the uh, landscape around here. 
Now the wind is picked up to about five miles an hour, I would estimate. See, we can't really see the exact depth of the water. However, we can, uh, we can tell it's pretty shallow when little birds are able to stand on the bottom. We can tell by the way that the waves are breaking here. The way that the the current or the the water responds on the when it's shallower, we can see that. And then when there's a greater depth. I can actually walk out a pretty good distance here today. So I'll uh, want to show this to you a little bit. So the little sandpipers found it a little bit too deep here. But then the uh, different, there's different uh, types of seagulls, apparently. Lots of different ones. And I, I've got to really pay attention to where I'm walking. Um, this is fine right here, coming straight on out here. At different times of the year, and, and also the tidal cycle, it'll be really different. So I'm walking straight in line with the, uh, pretty close to the edge of the buildings here, and uh, straight across to the island. That'll be important for me to know because if I were to cut across there, it would go up to my waist probably, the water would. So the, the water ch temperature right now is in the, in the mid-50s, and then the uh, tidal activity is a couple feet lower than it will be in the summer when the water is roughly 40, de 40 degrees warmer. It'll be up into the 90s, 80s to 90s during uh, hurricane season. So the little sandpipers are on the edge there. They just went back on in. I'm going to head back over that way because um, this tide is actually coming in pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, closer to the island. Oh wow, there they are. How cool. Oh, it looks like they might be uh, going out. Let's see. So this is the iPhone 10, and I'm zoomed in about as far as it will go, about 10 times I believe it is. Got beautiful uh, video of the eagle flying from the trees there out here to the water and getting a fish.
taking it away for a dinner for one. That's how it works. That's the reality of the world we live in. I want to see how that is if I uh, just go ahead and set that down. And it's feeding time out here too. There will be um, a lot of fish uh, coming and going through the currents. And uh, right uh, close to the island there, you know, there's a channel that will get over 10 feet deep. That's where the boats need to uh, be traveling if they want to not run aground. had a gentleman I met the other day whose boat uh, ran aground in there. I don't see them smacking into each other either. They're pretty amazing the way that they fly in, uh, in formations like that. So even though this is zoomed in 10 times, the, um, oh, I've, I've been many times more zoomed in than that with the P1000. I'll, I'll probably be experimenting with um, a little bit more high definition, but I can only do about a seven minute video with uh, 4K on the P1000. So now it's important for me to remember, like I said, uh, walking along the, the shore or the, the line of the buildings. The, the tide comes in uh, pretty gradual. Um, that's one of the things that's kind of amazing about all that. And then uh, as the tide goes out, it uh, gets very tumultuous here depending on things like storm surge and, and that when we have a hurricane or a tropical storm. The water is extremely powerful. It's a lot of stored energy and temperature.
when uh, electricity is applied to water with the process of electrolysis, you can actually shatter the bond between the oxygen and hydrogen. And uh, it's a gas called HHO. You can melt rock or cut steel with it. Takes a lot of temperature to melt rock or to cut steel. The byproduct of HHO is condensation. You can actually run a car on it. The majority of the earth as we know it is covered by water. The undisturbed water is flat and seeks level. You can have a wall that's flat, but it can be tipped or tilted. When water is undisturbed, it'll, it'll be level. I've got a video and photos about here showing how precision that actually is. That's one of the reasons why I explain it and show it. Seeing is believing. What? What do we see and what do we believe about what we see? Can we be tricked? So I would say that the truth matters. Do you? Do you agree with that? I hope so. Many of my friends believe the truth matters. So there's a, a veritable kaleidoscope of conspiracies in this world. Actually, collusion and illegal activity by the governments of the world, uh, corporations, basically uh, drugging humanity with, uh, with chemicals that are put in the food and the water, the air, and, uh, and then in the, uh, the frequencies that are transmitting the, uh, the digital media, the digital forms of communications, the audio and video, a lot of deception with that. It's one of the reasons why I encourage people to uh, go ahead and, and get out and enjoy it. This is a bit of a, an advertisement for that. can see the the symmetry of the reflection right there oh I messed up the focus a little bit I think there we go so different times of the year I've I've seen it where there will be really pretty big waves coming through here. Um, there are a lot of people with pets out here, dogs, and they'll throw a tennis ball. Water doesn't stick to it. The, uh, the salt and sand and, and dog spit all goes flying off. The, uh, the waves are a bit of a sorting process for the particulate here. It shapes it every day. I kind of joke about this, but the, uh, like these little hair tie things, uh, people bring them from all over the world, and our cats like them. I wash them off and let them play with them. But millions of people spend billions of dollars to come here every year to bring our kitties cat toys. It's kind of funny, but they're, they're uh, reflective off of the sand, off of, off of the wet sand, off of the water. Reflective on their lives, past, present, future. I've seen memorials celebrated out here, the transition of loved ones, even friends of mine. Uh, were they murdered? Did they commit suicide? Were they relocated in a witness protection plan? Quite possibly. 
I have a, a friend who transitioned out of my life and I'm not sure which one of those realities occurred. I don't know. She was involved in exposing and shutting down <clears throat> human trafficking in this area. Yeah, 20 million people come here every year now or so. That's a lot of people. And the, uh, the wicked uh, people of this world, I believe, in most cases are corrupted by Satan to do evil things to other people. For all I know, that friend that apparently, by the official story, committed suicide uh, right before Resurrection Day, as we celebrate it here, uh, she apparently committed suicide. But the whole story has got a bunch of problems with it. So she could even be watching this video right now. She used to live out right here in this area. A dear friend, uh, Rhonda Pettit is her name. She used to live in uh, 2C, right over there, right in the middle. You can see her on my photo album, if you care to. About a, a month before uh, she apparently committed suicide. She she said to me, uh, so Robert, we were the best of friends. She said, if uh, if you were to relocate somewhere, where would you go? <laughs> Interesting. She was in protective custody apparently. Me talking about it doesn't jeopardize her safety, as far as I'm aware. I know that she struggled on and off of pharmaceuticals, uh, diagnosed with bipolar as I was, and, uh, and that's part of the control mechanism. She was uh, a very giving person and loved the truth, and that's, um, that, can, that can be costly. Um, uh, a price was paid to, to love the truth. A, a price that I couldn't afford to pay. Uh, Christ paid that price for me. Jesus Christ who now lives in and through me. The Alpha and Omega, the Almighty God, my Heavenly Father. That's how I understand uh, Him to be. I I believe that the New Testament is, is uh, God's Word as well as the Old Testament. This is part of the, mu the sound I wanted you to be able to hear. Uh, the little birds out here. So what will happen in this area, the big waves are coming in on the other side and then it will swirl around like this. So there will be a, a circulation and uh, what happens is the, uh, the sand here is a bit softer. Other areas it will be more com compact, more compressed.
Photography and, and videography are some big clues uh, to the world that we live in. And so there are talented, now this water is coming in very gradually, but you can, you can see it. Uh, with regards to the photography and videography, we'll see it all over the face of the earth. Mountains and mountain lakes perfectly reflecting <laughs> the beauty of this. That's one of the bigger uh, seagulls there. So there's a lot of different uh, varieties. So the uh, footprints in the sand are filling in. The, uh, the flood that covered the face of the earth covered to over the tops of all the mountains. However tall they were then, uh, we don't exactly know. Right now reported uh, Mount Everest is five and a half miles, 5.49 miles tall. So the advantage I have here in South Carolina is uh, showing you right now, I'm, I'm pointing uh, virtually directly east, right over there. So if, if you look at the cartography or the, the maps of the world, they're, they're largely different. Apparently Google Earth is pretty accurate. As far as I know, I, I have no way of disproving that. The GPS system is not a global satellite system, it's a ground positioning system as best I can tell. I use navigation systems on this iPhone 10 to get places. Works very accurately. I've seen what are called satellite images. They're high altitude photography. And some not, not that high actually. We've got aircraft that take a lot of pictures above. There we go. See how it comes in? Footprints in the sand. It's part of the part of the reality of this world. I've ridden horseback uh, horseback riding on the on the point there. Uh, actually, with my friend Rhonda. Uh, photos of her uh, a dear friend she would be going by a different name now if she if she was uh, relocated see the the water fills that up perfectly we've got um, a lot of mystery in this world uh, some you know there's what look to be footprints in some areas of the world that are absolutely massive. And according to the Book of Enoch, we had giants that were uh, almost two miles tall. Is that possible? Well, if God wants it to be, it is. Yeah. Uh, so the sand is pretty soft here, like I said, and I'll sink right in where uh, this area right up there, it'll be quite a bit harder. That's just the way it is. A couple years ago, I called uh, emergency rescue to have a couple of young men from Minnesota rescued. They were drowning. I never posted the video of that. Um, I was zoomed in on them while I was on the phone and uh, I didn't think they were going to make it. 
but they did. They were rescued. A surfboard uh, equipped lifeguard paddled over the top of the waves, over the top of the current, and was able to pull them on up to the board and rescue them. Good morning. Good morning. And then we can see the, the way the water circulates and travels. Uh, we live on a stationary earth. Some people use the example of toilet water or water in a in a bathtub or in a sink. The way it it rotates uh, somehow indicates earth movement. Well, that's not true. That's not accurate. I've got video of uh, whirlpools spinning in opposite directions right next to one another right down the uh, way there over by the Prince Resort you can see it if you care to it's on my YouTube channel there's a lot of content there to explore if you care to Some of the video I captured was from down there, uh, shooting across right over here where the sun was coming up in that area. It was in the summer months. Even though there's a slight slope to the beach, it's very clear that that reflection right there is uh, of the clouds right up above. So the water does curve, um, it fills the container it's in, whatever shape that is. It's just how it actually works. That's the reality. I believe that the truth is the, is the reality. Reality is truth, they're interchangeable. So you might, you might think it doesn't matter what kind of toothpaste you use, uh, like um, is, is uh, fluoride toxic? Yeah, it's in rat poison, you should know that. Um, is God real? <laughs> you should know that. Yeah, of course he is. He created this place where we're not a, a celestial sneeze or a, <coughs> a godless cough, cosmic cough. We're, fearfully and wonderfully made and and the attributes of God are visible within his creation that's what you should know the the simplicity of the water exposing the global lie is a big deal. I don't need an elaborate laser 